Hello everyone and welcome to another new project video and this time I'm gonna make use of a couple of new text tags just to create elegant and simple looking uh, crude application which I've just created like this so this is just, this is gonna be a simple set of uh, steps that you I will be taking you guys to on how to actually create something like this so this is basically a crude application which I've made it using react and also with uh, the backend is actually being supported by Superbase. So Superbase is actually a an open source database which is also known as an open source Firebase alternative. So as you can see, I've been using Superbase uh, a pretty long time, and it's a great uh, platform where you can actually get started with. As you can, as you know, this is actually an open source, and you are able to make changes based on your uh, development feature. And of course, not just that you don't happen to have only database uh, features you also happen to have authentication feature uh, instant APIs edge functions real-time subscriptions and storage features and this is, a, this is a great platform for you to to make it as your your next projects backend so yeah that's it that's it for this particular uh, super base uh, introduction and the next thing is that I would like to give you guys a demo on uh, this particular crude application. So as you know, crude have four main methods, four main steps that you need to be uh, must be able to perform to a particular uh, application, crude application. So first is create. So and as you can see here, I have a create button here, and these two buttons must be able to make a create uh, response to uh, to this particular uh, super base database that's what I'm going to do right now so I'll have to create a new user and this is going to say Ben and his full name is going to be Ben Doe and, and, and I'll have to create his age will be 26 and I'll have to create a new user and there you go you have uh, Mr. Ben Dover's uh, record here and this is the latest record we have just created so this is uh, this is basically a reflection of this particular uh, database here. It's basically it's like a coming from this database. I've just made it here. So the next thing is that I must be also must be able to uh, read read all the data that's coming from this particular table. So I am actually reading all of this. Basically, I'm fetching all the users' uh, data from from this particular table called users. And I'm just displaying it inside my local uh, table inside React project. That's what that's what I just did here. The third thing that needs to be done is actually the delete, which I must be able to delete a particular row. For example, let's say I like to delete the first user, and there you go. Now you get to delete uh, the first user. I like to also delete the second user, and there you go. You are able to delete the second user as well. So the next, the last thing, and the thing that I must be doing is actually for this particular uh, crude application is to update. So let's say I would like to update this particular Jane Adams. Um, uh, row of data let it, uh, and, and then I need to click on edit when I click on edit as you can see here you are able you are making your row to be uh, accessible for anyone to edit so in this case and I'll be I'll have to remove the last name of this particular person so it's going to be just Jane and also I'll have to change the age to 27 like this and I have to click on save changes and there you go now you as you can see here jane has already ha i mean don't have no longer having her back her i mean her last name so this is just, just jane and the h has also been changed to 27 and yeah that's it that's the whole demo uh, of this particular crude applications that i would like to show and yeah that's it so this is this is exactly what we are going to create and i'll be walking you guys through every single step that i have taken in order to achieve something like this so let's get started without further ado. 